Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing a John Wick figure from Mesco 112 Toys. As you can see my reflection on the box, this box is a tin box. It's an exclusive. Like I said, it's from Mesco 112. This figure was released in 2019. And this John Wick is actually from John Wick Chapter 2. Um, as you can see right now when we're getting... Uh, the back um, the back part of it, you'll see all the stuff it comes with. Um, I will lay everything out and go over everything. Um, as you can see here, it does say John Wick, if you want to pause that. John Wick 2, I mean, so that's how you know. Um, I know he has his dog in the first one towards the end, and that one, so. Very nice box. Um, like I said, it's a tin box. Um, it's an exclusive, so it's very, very nicely detailed. This was kind of very hard to get, actually, and I had to wait a while to get it. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take the box off the turntable and do the unboxing. Alrighty everyone, as you can see my reflection there. <laughs> um, so yes, this is the box. Let's go ahead and lay it down. There is a, um, a plastic sleeve that comes with this over everything. Um, but, you know, just for, you know, this video, I just didn't you know, leave, leave it on there. But there's the, the top of it. Sorry about that, I just hit the light box, wow. Um, every single um, Mezco 112 does come with this. You know, welcome to Mezco 112. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but if you wanna pause it and uh, and read what it says, every single one of them comes with this. And here's a little plastic for the top of the, the uh, top of that. And as you can see, this figure comes with a lot of stuff. Um, I believe the difference between just a regular John Wick and the John Wick exclusive was this box right here. This box, um, it's that this, it's kind of weird. So if you guys remember in the first John Wick, he goes and he starts breaking the cement and he opens this and it has all the gold coins and guns and stuff like that. This is pretty much what that is. Um, except what's weird about it is he's using guns from the second movie. In this one, because obviously this is the second movie, and you put the guns in here, which doesn't really make sense because he doesn't put those guns in there. Um, also, another thing that I kind of want to go over is this box size compared to him. I don't know. In that movie, he's, it seemed a lot smaller, but I don't know. So, taking them off here, or taking them off, not taking them out, not off. There we go. Sometimes this one is very hard to pull out of the box, the tin can, because it gets really stuck. It gets stuck because, you know what, well, let's do it this way. Let's put it back in. Let's go like this. And let's bring it up from the bottom. Come on. There we go. Oh my God. So yes, it comes with this. I'm gonna set. I'm gonna pull this out actually, and set it aside for now, um, and show you what else it comes with. It comes with a lot more stuff, as you can see there. Um, I'm gonna pull this out as well, and I'm gonna set this here and set this tin part to the side um, for the rest of the video. What I'm also gonna do is bring this part back in. As you can see, it has two layers of stuff. I mean, it has a ridiculous amount of stuff. Um, so what we're gonna do next is actually take everything out of this stuff, take everything out of this plastic and everything, and lay it all out, and we'll see everything that the figure comes with. Alrighty, everyone. As you can see, this figure comes with a ton of accessories. It's just a ridiculous amount. And considering the fact how much I pay sometimes for the Mezco 112s, um, you know, compared to this one, I, I do believe one time I got a Mezco 112 and it came with like, you know, the figure and it came with like one or two extra accessories. Um, and then obviously, um, so most all figures of Mezco 112 come with the stand, the dynamic post, uh, yeah, that thing, that, 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 I think that's what it's called, dynamic post, but you know, the thing that you can move around and this bag to put everything in. Um, but the other figure that I got only came with like two other items and the figure itself and I paid You know if you guys look it up you, you pay for Mesco this one. I paid an extra only Maybe 40 bucks more 
for all of this stuff, which is just insane. Now, I know some of it here is a little bit blurry. Um, that's because I had to change out the lens. Um, so when I do close-ups, you can see, you know, the, 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 the stuff a lot better. So first, what we're going to do, so I'm going to move up the camera just a little bit. We're just going to look at the stand first. It does say John Wick. Two chapter, you can see the chapter right there, and it's just a nor you know regular typical stand um, from Mesco 112. There's a little peg here. In order, excuse me, in order to put this part in, you actually just push down on this little peg. It pops out from the bottom, and you put that in. So that's that's the stand there. It does come with the dynamic uh, moving. Like, I guess you can, like, post where you can actually, so it actually holds them. It actually clamps open, so you can grab the figure. This turns here. It's a little stiff because I actually haven't used this, but it actually does turn right here. Um, I'm not going to do it right now. Maybe I need to heat it up a little bit to get it loose, but it does uh, go up and down right here. goes up and down right here and up and down right here. Um, so this is, it comes with all figures. I don't really use these. Most of my figures that, that I do have, um, I have them in a museum pose, just in case I want to get rid of them. There's no no deep creases in the in the figure and things like that. So it comes with that. It comes with clear bag, as you can see, almost like a sandwich bag. So you can put all the accessories in. Although I don't know why the boxes they send you are actually very nice. That being said, I'll, if the stuff that you're not using, I don't know why you would put them in here. I would just keep the box and you know and and leave the stuff in the box so it doesn't get ruined but you know to each his own people people don't want to keep boxes that take up too much room which is understandable next it comes with four different firing effects for his guns as you can see the bullet is right here and those little firing effects and all you do is i believe most guns so for example we're not going to do this show, so we'll just do this one for now you can actually get the gun, put it right there, and there you go, see? That actually looks amazing, actually. So that's what those are for. It comes with four of them, and I'll show each one of them off. Um, so this is just a regular single bullet. Right there, you can see the bullet with the little firing effect. This one, I actually reviewed, um, I believe it was the Punisher from Mesco 112. This one I just did not understand. There's three bullets. That means three different guns are firing at the same time. Unless he has like a moving effect. Let me see what's one of these guns. Can you? Yeah, you can put it on these. Unless, you know, he was actually shot, 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 shot. Um, this just this one doesn't make sense to me at all. I don't know. I, I really don't like this one. I didn't like it from the other one. I don't like it with this one. This looks like a, a three effect, like three people shooting guns at the same time close together. So I don't like this one. But regardless, there's three bullets here. The 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 little explosion in the back or the fire effect and the little post to put on the guns. It comes with a bigger one. Which I believe this one's more for like the shotgun because it has like the little the bigger blast on it. This post it's a little tweaked. I'm not gonna move it too much, but so the, yes, yeah, so like this is one's for like the shotgun. I mean, obviously you can put in with any gun, but it looks a lot better with the shotgun just because the shotgun gives a bigger burst. Um, so that's where that comes from. And there's actually nothing when it comes to bullets on this one or anything. Do shotguns not fire anything? Of course, they fire. You know, they fire birdshot, they fire buckshot, um, a, you know, slug. They fire all kinds of things out of the shotgun. So I don't know why they didn't, and you know, put anything in there. Maybe just shooting the blank. Who knows? And this last one, another just single bullet, and just more fire effects in the back. Um, so while I do appreciate that they did put this in, I mean, you know, they didn't have to, but they did. These just, one of them completely doesn't make sense. This one would be too much. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe they did this one for, you know, for, for the rifle here. Like so. Which is, actually looks a lot better. And they did the, the smaller one for the handgun. Like if he was shooting. Oh, there we go. Let's see. So I don't know. Um, I don't really like those firing effects. They're okay. Um, I guess maybe if you're into toy for, for you know toy photography, it would be pretty cool. But not not that's not for me. And this one I just don't like at all. It's just kind of pointless. So um, other things he comes with. He comes with twelve stacks of gold. Twelve stacks of gold. 
these are just honestly, I mean, it's actually kind of amazing of how small you can see the detail in the front. And I know this camera lens kind of sucks, but it's a lot better than the other one. But you can really still see it. But it does have like a little, uh, you know, design right there. You can actually, they're not just, you know, circular. No, you can actually see the designs on every single one of them. Every single one of them have it. There's nice small detail. They're, you know, they're just all put together. And they all actually fit right here. Like so, you push it in, every single one of them fits in there, right there. Which is very, very nice. I like that. Um, they included all that gold. It comes with two shells for this for this box right here. So this is this is the one for the gold. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is not really foam. It's almost like a a soft plastic. Yeah, I see. There you go. You can almost hear like some, it's almost like a soft plastic. So, but yeah, all the gold goes in that one. Set that aside. And the guns that it comes with goes in this one. Um, there's slots for the two small guns, the two bigger guns, the two small magazines, the two bigger magazines, a knife, and the four grenades. Which I don't think those are the grenades. Those are smoke bombs, um, or smoke grenades. Um, most grenades are actually kind of pineapple shaped. Um, maybe not. Maybe they're different. You know, who knows? Everything's changed nowadays in the future. I say the future because when I was in the military, uh, they, bombs didn't look like that. Grenades didn't look like that. They were a lot different. They were more circular. Uh, they, they actually didn't have the pineapple shape. They were just circular. So that's why I said that these are uh, smoke canisters because that's what smoke canisters looked like when I was in the military. Um, so, yes, going over the, the smoke ones. They actually have really nice detail here. You can see the pin right there. Um, they did a little bit silver kind of thing up here, a little brownish on the, the top of it here, and then just the rest of it, it's black. Um, they put a lot of detail into this. You know, it's a small little plastic thing. They didn't have to put into any detail on it, and they did. They include four, which is great. I think, so, as far as John Wick, he can actually, he can carry one in his hand, but as far as the rest of his body, he did, he, you know, he can't. It, I think they made it more specifically for the little thing here so you can put him in to display it. He comes with a black combat knife. Looks like a K-bar. Little black one. Nice little shiny thing right here at the back. And the rest of it is just all black. A little it's not it's not hard plastic as you can see it kind of moves but it is sharp up front. And give me one quick second. Sorry about that. Just a little bit of water. And then let's see. He comes with two small glocks. These are actually, now that I'm kind of looking at myself, they're not really... I mean, the, the details there for the plastic, like all guns that I've been seeing on most of my figure reviews, the, the details there, but there's no weathering to it. There's no, you know, a black wash or white wash. There's no paint application. It's just a plain black gun. Um... There is a hole though in the front of it, so you can put the firing effects. So we'll give him that. But there's two uh, two Glocks. Now I'm not sure if it's a Glock, you know, 23, 43. I'm not sure um, the number of the Glock. I'm not even sure if it's a nine. It might be, a, you know, a 40, 45. Not even know. I don't even know. I just know they're Glocks. Um, I did a little bit of research. I just didn't look too much further into what you know what caliber, nothing like that, because we're not reviewing the caliber and the guns. We're just reviewing the toy itself. And the things it comes with. Um, it does come with two magazines, one per the, the the Glocks here. Unfortunately, you can't pull the magazines out of these Glocks, but I think they're just so you can put them into um, the little case right there. Now, these magazines are actually more detailed than the guns themselves because you can actually see the bullet up top. You know what's crazy? You can actually see the whole... If you guys haven't have never seen a, a magazine from a gun, um, the back of it has a little hole so you can see how many bullets you've put in. These two have them. There you go. You can kind of see them on camera. Wow, that's just amazing. I didn't even notice that myself when I was... Uh, when I actually opened this figure. Then he comes with two other guns. I believe these are the H&K's P90s. With the match one up front or the comp compensators. Now, don't quote me on that. Um, I, like I said, I just looked it up and it said H and K's. 
I do want to say they're P nineties, P thirties, something like that. I I believe I have it written down somewhere. I'm not sure though. Um, but yeah, they're just regular standard black plastic uh, guns here. The detail is there from the actual you know small plastic, but no paint really. It's just all black. They do have the holes up front like the two Glocks do, so you can put the little firing effect on them. Those two also come with, there we go, extra magazines, which now that I noticed these, I think these are single stacked. And what I mean by that is, um, so gun magazines, um, when you start putting bullets and they kind of zigzag down and they're kind of stacked double, these ones are single stacked and it's just one stack. Um, so you can fit less ammunition on there. Regardless though, both of them have the little color up top, as you can see there, for the bullet. Um, you can't really see the holes on this one. But you can see like the little grooves on the side. Wow, the little detail at the plastic. I, I, I just don't understand why they did a lot more detail on the, the magazines than they did the guns. Um, the other last handgun he comes with is more of a, like a performance Glock. Um, as you can see, that's like you can see where it's supposed to be ported up here, just kind of like a little paint thing. And then they painted the ejection port right there gold as well. The bottom of it's actually um, widened um, for the max, so, so you can actually put the magazine a little, a little easier, doesn't get caught up. Um, the guy that when he's actually suiting up and he goes and um, you know starts looking at guns, the guy actually you know tells him about this gun. Um, he you know he kind of does a little sideways thing. So that's the only detail that they put in this gun is the little gold right there, the little gold right there, and the little you know it's called a flare magwell. Um, that's the only detail they put on this one. This one, yes, you can pull the magazine out. Here it is a magazine. I will actually go over the other magazine, but I'm just showing you with this one. Actually, I believe it goes in this way. No, I was right the first time. There you go. Nice little Glock, has a little, actually I believe this one has two holes. Huh, can you move this one? No, you can't, no, you cannot. Um, so yeah, it comes with this other Glock, like the Glock he actually uses. Actually, he uses all these weapons, but he actually uses this one a lot. Um, and the other magazine he comes with, as you can see, they put the bullet there, painted it. I don't know why though, this one is a little bit skinny. And Glocks actually don't have a single stack magazines. They have a uh, double stacked, but there's an extra, mag extra magazine that it comes with. Now finally getting into um, the larger guns. This I believe is the Caltech shotgun that he uses. Um, this does pump back and forth, so it is a pump shotgun, boom. Um, see, they actually did a little bit of paint job. So the, the detail on it is perfect. Obviously most plastic guns, you can, the accuracy of the detail they put on it is perfect. But as far as this one, it's not just all black. There's gray accents on it, and the gray part is actually weathered, which is very, very nice. Um, no, you can't, okay. And this actually goes back and goes forward, which is very nice. Caltech shotgun. That's just, that's just an amazing shotgun, um, double barrel. So what I mean by not barrel, but a double where you put the, 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 the rounds in, you carry more. Um, very nice gun, actually very nicely detailed. I actually really enjoyed and really liked that they actually put a lot of detail in that one. This one, I know exactly what kind of shotgun this is because I've always wanted one, yet they're really pricey. So I haven't, um, <laughs> haven't really splurged to get one of these. This is the Benelli M4 shotgun um these are really pricey <clears throat> i'm not going to get into all that detail but what i am going to get into is the detail that they did put in this they put an extra round right here on the side um, when he's using this gun he you, you actually see him hold a round on it so as soon as he shoots his last one he goes and pulls the, the you know the thing back actually you don't even have to pull this one's not even a pull back actually i think this one's like a semi-auto shotgun where when you load it up you put it in once all the rounds, and then once you cock it back and you start shooting, it starts. It's it just shoots and it ejects. You don't have to keep pumping out. I don't. At least I don't believe you do. I I'm not too sure. Um, maybe you do. Maybe you do. So, but yeah, they actually did a little paint job right here, so you can see the ejection port. And as far as there's an extra shotgun shell right there, which wow, this I like that they did that. Um, that's very cool. 
the little extra detail I did there, even though it wasn't too much detail, I did like that they put that extra detail there. Last gun he uses, I'm not too sure what kind, uh, what brand, but I know this is an AR-15 with a nice um, mounted scope up top. That's just very nice. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've written, I, I've said it before in the other ones, although I do believe this is actually, no, I, on the other one, on my other John Wick videos that I have done so far, I believe he's using a different gun. So this is um, just, I know this is an AR-15 the way it looks. I'm not sure of the brand or anything like that. Um, but as far as the detail on it, the detail is all there, like the, all the other guns, except the, the paint, there's no paint application, which is kind of unfortunate, again. Um, but it does come with two magazines. The magazines are actually very nicely detailed and it comes with or I'm sorry, and then you can see that they painted the bullets. The magazines do come in and out of the, <clears throat> excuse me, the magwell. But what I do like about this one actually is that it comes with this extra piece right here. Now, I, I don't know if you guys do remember, but in the movie, John Wick 2, he was shooting it. And when it, when it, when it you know, when he needed to reload, instead of, you know, taking a, a magazine out, pulling one out of his pocket, all he did was... Uh, when, so instead of when, when he was firing and he needed to change magazine he didn't actually do this one drop this one pull another one out of his pocket and go for it all he did was eject move it to the side and went back and he kept shooting so that's what that is right there look at that that is just i like that detail they did right there they didn't have to do that detail but they did and i really do appreciate that and i actually really like that for that so i'm going to take these out for now Oh God, there we go. Huh. Almost done here with all this stuff. I know this is kind of getting kind of long. This is a long video. He does come with a watch. I don't know why they didn't just put this on the figure himself. Um, I don't know if this, I don't quite remember if this was a big significant thing in the movie, um, but he does come with the watch. Kind of detailed actually. You, if you actually, I know you can't really see it in ca this camera. There we go, it's a little bit better view. It's really detailed, you know, black band. The band is not actually that detailed, but that's actually very nice. He comes with two sets. I'm sorry, he comes with quite a few sets of hands. So these are the closed fist hands. Um, I do like the, the paint job on them. It's not just, um, like I believe one of the John Wicks I did, the, the hands were just kind of plain one color. These are actually, you can actually tell they did a, they did put a little bit of detail into it. As you can see that the, the, the rings there. So these are the closed fists. And we'll go down one at a time here. These are kind of more like the relaxed, almost getting ready to do something, I guess you can say, um, hands. Um, both of them, the paint detail is very nice. Um, you can see the ring on that finger, so very nice on this one. These ones are kind of, these next ones are kind of like, what? <laughs> um, these are kind of like the karate <laughs> hands when he's fighting. I've never really seen him do this, but there he goes with that one. It's kind of clenched up right there like that. Um, and this is kind of like the karate chop, like a, like a, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's weird. I've never seen him do that. I mean, he does, he does a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat, but I've never seen them do, like, this isn't the Matrix, you know what I mean? He's not getting ready to fight with those hand poses, but he does have the ring right there as well. Um, let's see. So he also has the, trigger finger hand I, I believe the other one um so he has two of these obviously and the other one's actually on the figure himself and they're just trigger fingers with the with the ring on his hand as well and the other one kind of has i believe this is like for like the knife and stuff or you know to hold the extra for example if he's holding this with the trigger finger the other one's going to be holding just this and these are just kind of closed hands just so you can put the knife or any something else in there i do believe that the other one is on the figure himself last two things he comes with an extra head sculpt this one's actually when he's kind of bloody already he has kind of a cut right here cut up there and down here his hair is kind of coming down already kind of has like a mean look to him i don't know i don't really like this head sculpt um I had the same issue with the other Mezco, uh, not Mezco, the, the Mayfex figure that I did, where 
the head sculpt on him himself is it looks nice yeah but when you put that head sculpt on the body where the suit is completely new and not dirty and stuff it looks kind of weird um you can see it does have a nice little resemblance of keanu reeves there um i do believe that the other one that i have on him now that it comes with is you know looks a lot better but overall the paint detail on him the the hair on him is actually not bad at all i mean they put a lot of detail on his face you know the scuff up you know the little beard he has and even on his neck i'm really impressed with this figure actually with the even with the head sculpt and the last but not least he comes with his pit bull dog which doesn't have a name like the other one did um the dog's name was daisy this one does not have a name at all it's just dog um the paint detail on this dog is actually really nice the sculpt on the detail, on, I'm sorry, on the dog is nice. Unfortunately, the dog does not move. He is just plain plastic. Just stands there. Um, does not move whatsoever. So, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not even mad about that either. I mean, the figure's not moving. Um, why do you need this dog to move? I mean, unfortunately, like, if you have the dog... I mean, I'm sorry, like John Wick and like a like a running pose where he's getting ready to do something. I don't know, doing something like that. And the dog's just kind of standing there. I mean, it'd be cool if you can kind of get the dog into like almost a running pose as well. Especially like when, well, I believe in the first John Wick where he's kind of running. I know actually it's John Wick too when he's running um, away from the, everybody where, you know, Winston give him, gives him an hour and they start running. It'd be nice to kind of have the dog kind of running with him, but... Yeah, so that's everything that the figure comes with. I apologize that this was a little long. I knew this video was going to take a while. I still have to go over the figure and things like that. So um, I'm not going to waste any more time. So what we're going to do now is clear this off, bring the figure out, and go over all the, you know, getting up close. Yeah. Alrighty, everyone. Before I go into the figure detail, I did miss one thing. I guess I was kind of a little bit of a hurry. I'm going to set him inside right here. I didn't miss this box. I didn't go over the box that it comes with. Um, the detail on the box is actually very, very nice. I mean, it has, you know, the, the metal right here on the side. The gunmetal kind of looking thing. The steel, I guess you can call it. The wood, you can tell it's wood. Um, it's a very nice box. And yes, it can open. So it actually locks. It's almost like locked. You actually have to press this inward to open it. That's just amazing. And right there, as you can see, that's where you put the longer handguns, right there. You put the the little part right here with all the, the gold and stuff right here, or you could have them on the corner, and that's how this actually works. And as you can see, what I was trying to get at is him with this box just looks like wow, he looks he looks freaking this box looks freaking big compared to him. But anyway, so that's a box that I apologize that I didn't go over. I was in a little bit of a hurry because I know that video was getting I mean, that part section of the video was getting kind of long. So before we go any further now with this figure, first thing we're gonna do with him is do a height on him. Most most Mezco 112 figures are not that tall, and this one stands a little over six inches. He stands about six and a half, six and five eighths. There we go. And what I'm going to do next, actually, is bring the camera up. And so while I'm reviewing, I'm not hitting the floor there. But this figure actually is very nice. I do believe that this head sculpt is, looks a lot more like Keanu Reeves than the other one does. Um, this one, actually, you can, as you can see here, um, he's all cleaned up. You know, his hair is actually nice and, and combed back and everything. So I do like that. Um, the other hands that he comes with, like I said, this one's the trigger one, and this one's just kind of relaxed there, kind of kind of open. Um, so let's go over the figure himself. He does have a nice black suit on, so as you can see, his undershirt is actually kind of a bluish, purplish color. Um, he has like a little button you can see right there, so I kind of like, you can, it's like silver. Wow, I barely noticed that. Um, I don't really want to move this the, the clothes around too much because I don't want it to like rip or something like that. But the other side it has it right there. You can see the tie right here. It's all made out of um, clo you know cloth itself. And then he has like the little vest here. It's not really a vest, but like the three piece you know part of the suit. Um, you can see the little pocket here design. The pockets now you can't use it. You can see the little the little buns right there actually black. Um, they're not real buns. I believe they're kind of just like stick up. Oh. I don't want to actually, you know, remove them or anything or take them off. They're almost like stickerish, I think. I think. Um, and then as far as his belt, it is plastic. Nice, you know, shiny plastic right there. You can see the nice detail. And then his coat 
it's actually made it very nice. You can see like the back of the coat has like that, like almost if you were wearing a real coat, that's actually very, very nice. The detail on the coat itself is also nice. The pockets are there. Um, they're not, you know, you can't really use them. The, the buttons are also there. And you can actually see where the buttons are supposed to actually clip onto. Like, you know, when you, when you close your jacket up. That's just, that's just amazing. Although I do say with all that stuff on the figure himself, he kind of looks a little bulky up top, but not too much. Um, as far as his pants go, very nice, you know, slacks right there. You know, you know, I don't know what really, I don't really dress in suits. I'm, I don't know too much about them, but you can see very nice suits, uh, slacks. They're tapered at the bottom. Tactical, <laughs> like the way he says it in the movie. Um, you can see the nice crease right there, which is very nice when it comes to a suit. The back of um, his suit will lift up his pants a little bit. Not trying to be disgusted or anything like that. Look at his butt or anything like that. I'm just trying to show you the full... You know, he does have the nice two pockets back there, which is also... They don't have to do that because it covers up by the jacket, but they did it anyway. And then his shoes... His shoes are actually very nicely detailed. You can actually see... Let me pull this up a little bit. Give me one second. They're a little bit tight, so... I don't know if the, his whole leg is black or if that's meant to be his sock. It might be his sock because I'm feeling it right here. You can see where there's like a indent or like it goes from here and it goes down a little bit. So I do believe they're black socks. Wow. That's just wow. Um, so yeah, he does have black socks and then, you know, the nice dress shoes there. Nice kind of shiny and they did put nice little... Um, I guess you can say detail down here, which actually kind of helps with the figure with him standing because it kind of gives him a grip. And these are the holes where it plagues in onto the base so he can stand up. Overall, this figure's detail is just, it's just nice. So I'm going to stand him back up here, bring the camera back down. And what we're going to do next is go over the figure's articulation. Alrighty, folks, so going over the figure's articulation, what I'm going to do is just move the camera a little bit so I can bring the figure up towards me, um, and so it's not hitting the floor, or I'm sorry, the, the bottom part. So the figure articulation, I know this figure is very, very well articulated, but unfortunately, the suit hinders a lot of his movement, unfortunately, um, because I do have other Mezco 112 figures, and I do believe most of them are all made the same, um, as far as, like, the articulation and stuff. So, that being said, like I said, yes, this figure is very well articulated, but unfortunately, the suit really hinders it. So, starting with the neck, I'm not going to move it too fast because um, he does have a 360 view. He has a single ball joint, so he can actually move, you know, up, down, side to side. The good thing is the ball joint is actually down here. Which most figures ball joints up here, so you can only move the head, you know, sideways. But this one, the, the, the whole neck moves, which I guess it's, it's nice. Um, the only reason I don't want to move it too fast is because um, because this is cloth, um, it does rub on this and eventually will put the stain on there. Um, as seen, you can't really see it, but I was lifting this up earlier to take his watch off and on. And the black's already starting to stain the plastic, unfortunately. So going on to his... Um, there we go. Going on to his arm. So I, I do believe his arm does go up. There we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it just about there. I, you could probably do it a little bit higher. I just don't want to rip it. There's a lot of tension right here already. So he goes up to about there. There we go. He goes up to about there. There's already a lot of tension right there. So I don't want to, you know, push the figure more. This is my figure from my personal collection. So as far as going back, he goes back to about there, which is still pretty nice for all the stuff that he has on. <clears throat> Excuse me. There is no movement whatsoever at the bicep, so there's no turn at the bicep. I do believe there's a double bend at the elbow. Yeah, see? So you can go up pretty high. And as far as the, the wrist, the wrist, the wrist, the wrist goes, 360 turn. And, you know, you can go up, down, which is very nice. As far as, let me see. There's no movement at the torso whatsoever. And as far as the waist, actually, you know what? Now I can actually feel it. It's not really the torso. It's more like the chest now. I 
Hmm. It's weird. No, see, like, the turning is coming from right here. It's not really the waist. So there is... There is... A, so there's not... There's no waist movement. It's a torso movement. But the torso movement, there's no sideways or back and forth. It's just a turning motion. And I think they did it on purpose. So as to not, like... I do believe it's his, his undershirt is tucked into these pants right here. Because you can actually feel... The, the shirt down here. So there is movement as you can see he turns it to about there and to about there and that's just kind of pushing in. So as far as his legs go he goes up to about there because you he can actually start feeling the stretchness right there and it goes back to about there. As far as the knee goes there is a dub yes there is. There's a double bend joint at the knee Put it down a little bit. And as far as his ankle goes, he does go down. He goes up. He goes side to side. I do believe there's a, a ball joint at the knee. I'm sorry, at the ankle. A ball joint at the ankle. <clears throat> there you go. So what we're going to do now is bring out uh, the other two ones that I've done so far, the other two John Wick figures that I've uh, reviewed so far, and just do some comparisons. Alrighty folks, so to start off some comparisons, this is John Wick from uh, Mezco 112. The first one we're going to bring out, um, I do have them already ready, I just need to get the box art, yes. This is also John Wick. He, this one is from Chapter 1. Now I do believe when I was doing the video, I I was saying this was the suit he was wearing when he went after um, Vigo's son at the club, but it was not. This is the suit that he wears first when he when, when he gets out of the shower and they come and attack him at his place. So that is a correction on my part, and I'm willing, you know, I will own to that. Um, I'm trying to get this figure to stand. I still have not fixed this little bottom part right here, um, so I can actually stand him right next to him. Let me see if I can just get him to slouch. Oh, there we go. We'll leave him at that. So as you can see, they're almost wearing the same exact you know clothes, except this one has like the the three piece with the shirt underneath, and this one is just a regular suit, um, which is a regular shirt. Um, both these figures look really nice. This one's obviously a lot more um, you know articulated, um, but they're both nice figures. They're almost about the same price. Um, one, I guess you can say, what do the people call it when they put cloth on figures? Mixed media. I don't know why they call it that, um, but the cloth figure, you know, and this is just all plastic. This one's a little bit shorter than this one. This is, this is from Mayfax um, Toys. Um, I do believe it's number Mayfax 70. You can go, I'll, I'll put, a, you know, uh, the tag up in the, in the video so you can click that video if you want to watch it. So there's that one. Pull them out. And the other one I'm going to bring out is the... John Wick also from the first movie when he's wearing the the white. Actually, his foot kind of got messed up a little bit. There we go. When he's wearing the the black suit with the white shirt, like I said, this one's this one is like towards the towards the end when he goes finally to Vigo's son to try, you know at the club and try to kill him. This is what he's wearing towards the end of the movies. You can see Diamond Select figures are actually tall. This is from Diamond Select, so he stands a little bit taller than him. Um, I you know I did a video of the Mayfax and this one, how this one might be a little bit more articulated than the other one, a little bit more detailed. Um, so yeah, that's the nice little, I don't know why this is so far away. There you go. Nice little review here. I'll bring the other one out because I know the camera was kind of, kind of far out. I'll bring them out again so you can stand them all together. So what I'll do is put this guy right here, put this guy right here. There we go. And put this guy right there. Those are all the ones that I've done so far. Let me know which one you guys think is the best one, looks the best. Um, personally, I obviously think the, the Mezco 112 looks awesome. I just don't really like the height too much. I wish it was a little bit taller. Um, other than that, I think that's, you know, other than, I, I like this one. I go I go this one next, and I go this one. Even though this one's supposed to be a little bit top of the line, I still give it to this one as far as articulation. Um, I know this one would be a lot more articulated if the, the suit wasn't, you know, posing, you know, imposing, but. Alrighty, everyone. This is it. John Wick from John Wick Chapter 2, made by Mayfax 112, released in 2019. 
Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments down below. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Um, I do want to ask you guys one another favor. Um, if you guys do watch my videos, please watch them all the way through. That really helps the channel out. Um, when you don't do that, it kind of, it kind of, I guess YouTube doesn't really like that. It kind of ruins the algorithm, and it doesn't. Um, the way YouTube does is where if you watch a video and you don't watch it all the way through, like you only watch it like maybe the first minute or two, they are gonna tell or maybe think that you don't like the video, and they're gonna stop circulating the video. Um, so if you do watch the videos, please watch them all the way through. If you have any negative, positive, anything to say, please leave them down in the comments. Any comments help. Um, so I also do have an Instagram going already, um, which if you know if you want to see sneak peeks of videos that come before I post them on YouTube, you can always check that out. Please give me a follow on Instagram as well. That being said, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.